other non-league diaries you join us on a uh, drizzly Thursday evening here at the memorial ground where we have the boys of training tonight but first we're launching our brand new away kit which uh, I'd love to show you right now but I'm sure there was some better footage from our from our kit launch that we'll go into now as well um, ahead of our launching it against um, Bracknell Town I think next week on Tuesday evening um, but before that we've got Dorking in a friendly so a big bumper week ahead of us before the season starts but yeah we'll, uh, we'll see how the kit launch goes next Funny how I lost my hump but still won Maybe it's because I stay switching lanes You instead the first to Mac, I'm gon' make I'm just tryna live my life a bit faster I don't need your love, don't need no bouquet What do you think of the kit? Kit? Yeah, different Dunno what is, what is the way to describe it? Exotic Exotic, is that a nice word? No, it's, it's very different so, But what do you think? <laughs> I don't have the words for it. Does it feel yeah. comfy? Let me go, let me it's me different, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> your eyes are just comfy, mate. Stand out. I don't know. Nice colour. What's, well, what's been your favourite away kit so far out of the three? Last year's one. What, are you including the sides one? Yeah, yeah. I like the white, green and black one. Yeah. I'm going this one. Not just because it's new. Just... You don't really see a kit this colour, do you? So I'll go this one. Really nice. It's like a coral sort of thing, don't you think? It's wavy. Like sea waves, and mm. Nice. <laughs> 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 I'm weak and not to describe a kit. What is it? I know, it's like coral, isn't it? Mm. What nice. is the colour? Does anyone know the colour? Uh, I I love it. I I think, because I'm a West Ham fan, I do like the home kit a little bit more, but I think yeah. the, the new way kit looks great. Nice colour. It's something different. What is the colour? That was our big debate. Uh, I think we, we, we officially coral, styled it on turquoise. Tiffany Blue. Oh. oh I think it will be commonly known as oh. just, just turquoise. Oh. All right. Tiffany Blue then. <laughs> yeah. All right, kit shoot done. Uh, but we're down here in Farnham. Both men and women's team are training. Thursday nights is always training night. So we'll uh, go and introduce ourselves to the women's team for the first time and see what they're up to as their pre-season rumbles on as well. After meeting with Harry, uh, the aspirations of the club are obviously huge, and like it was, it was an easy sell to all the players as well. Like I know, I knew a lot of these players from from the leagues. I managed the step five, and all the players knew about Farnham, knew about the men's, knew how much they're growing. So, so yeah, it was just a super exciting thing to be a part of. It's an interesting project because we're starting from complete scratch. So, fresh team, half of them, well, the majority of them don't even really know each other's names. Um, a few of them I was at Badshotley previously, so a few of them are there. There's like six or seven of them that were at Badshotley. I'm Lewis Emmanuel. Yeah, I was at Badshot, uh, Badshot Women's, coach there. Um, yeah, coach a few men's sides as well, but mainly Badshot for women's. With men, I think from young ages, everyone plays football, don't they? Whereas with women, it's a little bit different. Um, the atmosphere is always better, it's less toxic, so that's good. I'm Ishii Davies and I am a striker slash winger. For me, I was just trying to find like the right club that I felt like suited me best and just I got a good vibe from. And Farnham just felt like that, like straight off the bat. I just felt super comfortable and like it was just the right decision and I can already tell it, like I've made the right decisions. So I'm Danny and I am a centre back and I'm captain of Farnham Town. Uh, I wanted to join Farnham because of the ambition that they have as a club um, and also because they care so much about the women's team. They put a lot of time and effort into the women's team. I think from the start, the first conversations I had with the club and those involved, um, it was pretty obvious that they had the same kind of mindset as me, same kind of ethos and what they wanted to build. I mean, it's exciting to be a part of something that's new as well. Um, I'm not sure I've ever been a part of a club that's brand new, so um, that was exciting and everything seemed to align with my goals. Uh, for what I want from football sort of at this point in my career. 
um, yeah, it's been going really good and we've got a great, great group of girls as well. So it's, um, it's exciting times. There was lots of different reasons. I think mainly was I wanted to change. I've been at Ashford for about four years now and the way women's football's developing, I wanted something a bit more uh, than what they could give at the time. And I think it was just time to do a bite a bullet and, and, and drop a couple of tears, but have that organisation, that professionalism uh, what I, that, that I was looking for, really. Pre-season's been good, it's been tough. Um, I just love the professional kind of environment. Tough, but that's pre-season for you, but that made me realise I made the right decision, so. Yeah, it's good, all the girls are really cool. Um, great group. Training's very organised and there's always something different going on. Uh, always something fun to it as well and that's what we're here for really, so yeah, it's been really good. Naturally, with it being new players and no one knowing each other to start with, um, We've done quite a lot on the whole team bonding side um, and I think we've just got a really nice group of girls. Everyone gets along really well um, and everyone just really pushes each other to do better um, and everyone is talented and I think that that's important. So we all went for dinner um, together and we've done a couple of uh, media days together, which was quite fun and um, made a few TikToks, <laughs> which I think I'm a bit too old for these days, but hey-ho. We're playing a step four level at the moment and um, we're going into step seven, so that should be fun for them. And we post those results every week. Um, but yeah, that's the way the league works, I suppose. So, it is what it is. To be honest, no. Farnham has massive pull. Um, literally, we have to turn people right away. So many people want to join. Um, we've got a good team, good squad now. I think we're very happy with it. And um, I expect big things this season. There is, I mean, you know, there's, there's rules around these things and whatever else. And, you know, we have to start where we have to start. Um, and it is what it is, um, but we've got a lot of talented players that have played at much higher levels. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. Um, we'll do what we need to do so we can keep progressing and hopefully end up where we kind of feel that we should be and deserve to be as a club. Um, yeah, it's just exciting, and we'll just we'll see we'll see how it goes. But we're we're very ready for whatever that brings. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep flying for the leagues. Yeah, because. A lot of these have played. A lot of these have played higher already. So we actually we tried to speak to the FA and stuff to try and start a bit higher. It didn't go down too well. So we're, we're where we are, and these lot are all fully bought in. So yeah, super exciting stuff. Right, only a week away from the season starting, and we're here at the wonderful Meadowbank where we're playing Dorking Wanderers in another pre-season friendly, our sixth of seven pre-season friendlies. Uh, should be a great run out today, obviously Dorking have just, just come down into step two, but they'll be well fancy to go straight back up. So really, really good test for the boys, uh, many of whom would have played here in the Surrey Cup final only a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, it should be a great game and hopefully the boys put in a wonderful performance to see how they get on. Uh, no, not really, just uh, just us preparing um, for ne next week. Uh, it's, obviously, it's a great game to have. We're not that, we're not going much of the ball. It's going to be physical, so it's, you know, try and get as realistic as possible to like a league game, and get us prepped for what's coming ahead of us. It's going to be a real good test. It's just you know, see, see how well we cope with the ball under under a lot of pressure, and uh, with our backs uh, backs against it. You know, see how we cope with that as well. Sharp punch it in. Punch oh yeah, no, yeah. Let's just hope we get through today. There's just no scaves, obviously. Uh, uh, Cobham in the week and we picked up a couple of nasty ones so uh, yeah we've rolled ankles and stuff which was disappointing the, the squad itself is not obviously big so to pick up two injuries in the in one in one evening was was not great but um, yeah hopefully they recover reasonably quickly ankles both ankles yeah they, I think um, I'm not sure how how steps is I think Max's is quite bad I think I think steps is is not as bad but it's um, you know it, ankles are always a dodgy one they you know the swelling and stuff got to sort of pretty much stay off it and uh, the guys are assess it hopefully they're, they're both here today so uh, assess it today and, and see where we're at for for the fuck, for coming week um, I just want to say how, how brave we are on the ball you know under a lot of pressure and uh, how, how well we communicate with each other um, in defending Best oh, it, man. It's, 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 a new, it's a new trend, man. <laughs> what am I looking at? It's a new trend. I can't Boy, can't get the camera, get the camera, show them, show them. Get like, just say, just say it. Just say it now. Do you not like it? Right. Kai, is it filming? I'm, I'm trying to tan my hand. Tanner. Uh, talk to me, Tanner. 
I don't have words. The, the socks are the ankle socks aren't even white. The the, well. it's black <laughs> ankle socks with all black boots. Where'd you zoom in? There we go. Ah, wow. <laughs> so, so we threw your threw your goal. My goal? Yeah, on the Tuesday. Yeah, weird one, because everyone said it was offside actually. It looked offside. Yeah, but the only thing was is that the Cobham player poked it. So I think that's still a rule where if the opposition team plays it through, then it's not offside. But I kind of took the ball off Jordan from the left-hand side, saw Mendy, rolled it back to him, and that's when Matey poked it. And to be fair, my momentum just took me like towards the goal. And then I just thought, I'll hit this, strike his in instinct, although I was playing more defensively. And yeah, it's near enough to stanch him, wasn't it? Good to get off the mark. Uh, got a personal aim for goals and assists this season, so... I think I said to Harry when we were doing that little shoot at the club. Um, I think I said I'd be happy with 15, 16 again. Last year I got 16, so if I match that, hopefully with more minutes, then I'll be more than happy. Uh, just while you're doing your last little bits, yeah, just listening. Set pieces, yeah, again, leave, it, leave them down to you. Won't do anything till Thursday on set pieces. Uh, on them, sorry. Yeah, wing backs, more than likely. Yeah, see how they play out. Yeah, see how they play out. We've got to be aggressive with it. I think. I think if we sit back, they they could they could put us apart. It's a it's a great game to have, like to end pre-season on a Saturday with. It's better than it's better than like a, a Red Hill or a Guildford. Twenty people, then you go through the motions. Go and enjoy it. Get on the ball. Have have fun with it. Yeah, they they will more likely score. Yeah, that's that's reality. They more likely will score. How do we react? Yeah, how do we react? Heads down or positive? Let's go and get on the ball and see what we can do with the ball. Let's go. Enjoy it. Stick together. Come on, boys. Yeah. Get your confidence out there. Come on. That's what it's about. Enjoying it. Yeah, let's go. Welcome along to Dorking Wanderers versus Farnham Sound. This is a massive problem. JJ, well done. Talk him in. Not too tight to him, Joe. Mark and Cooks are too obsessed with the ball. Jacko, Jacko and Ryan well, got talked to block the 10 off. No, they're, they're just wing backs, they're aggressive with it, they? Yeah. Yeah, they're just, they're, but they're just they're, they're playing it one side to then transfer it quick yeah, yeah, yeah. to the wide player. So, so if we've got cooks and things, you're not doing anything. Yeah. Our wing backs can go wide yeah. and actually mark them. Yeah. They haven't got because the, if there's big gaps in between the two centre halves, the the big gaps in the, between the two centre halves, mark or cooks, yeah. they're not doing anything because they're in, can they? So they're not doing anything anyway. Good Shay, that do you there Shay. It's a difficult one there because it is a bit easy, but they're good players. That's right. Yeah. They, they, they're 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 yeah. So they're naturally gonna they're gonna make it look easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move him then. Oh. just nearly in it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's good though. Yeah, good. Oh! Excellent. Yeah, they're free. Yeah, you just concentrate on this one. Off the ball. You concentrate on this one. Jay concentrate on that one. And then get Joel to, or Dad to put on the third one. And we just go for man for man. We'll be aggressive with it. Yeah, yeah no, someone's not doing it. No, because you're splitting and you're letting it go out. You two just do that. Just make sure Dad or Joel goes through the middle. Yeah? Jackson. And Kinane's clearance is right into the path of Murphy, who dinks it over Brzozowski and gives Dorking the lead. Yes, yes, yes. It's good, it's good. Yeah, just a little bit more kind of ball. Two thirds, three at the back. Yeah. Two, two strikers, two good. The wide ones, yeah. Right, then you go in on the third one, then you, you three go man for man. Yeah, then the two, the two fullbacks have to go tight. They will pop round, they'll do one, two. So
shot this kind every day. But we get them a few times. They ain't hurting you. They just sharp with it. There you go, come a little bit more quality low in there, yeah? I think they just got to understand that they're going to break. They're good, they're good, they're good sides. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how you deal with it. They don't work. The disappointing side of it is a little bit is where we've got into sort of these areas. Yeah, and with just that little bit of quality in it. Yeah, it is tough when you don't see a lot of the ball for a while. Hey, for us, it's good. Yeah, it's good. You've got to understand what you're playing against. Yeah, full time, full time players that on a 3G. You know, it's difficult at the best of times. Trying to, trying to tackle on a 3G. Um, you know, you can roll, it, roll players real easy. But I, I think we're doing well. I think we're doing well. When they, when they do break and they, and they get crosses in, we're dealing with them really well. Yeah, and, and that will happen. That's, that's your job to deal with them. And I thought we dealt with it really well. In terms of, in terms of their shape, yeah, you know, um, the boy on the left-hand side, I think he's more of a, a, a wing-back rather than a full-back. He, play, he plays like a wing-back. But... You just have to, it's the communication, the talking, which is hard because it's all right on the board, like talking through it, but in game time when things are moving around and you've just done a run and you're trying to pick your legs up, it's a little bit different and I appreciate that. In the final third, three, three or four real good opportunities. That's, that's mostly a little disappointing bit. I think early on it was you, Joel, drive with the ball. Yeah, that's why you're in there. We, we've had, you know, potentially we could have had three or four real good chances without touching the ball. And we've come, we come to place, places, well, in cup games and stuff, where you won't touch the ball. Yeah, so it's make, make sure when you do touch the ball, you look after it, you're not the one that gives it away, and then can you make something happen. Um, barring that, I, I, I'm enjoying it, I think it's good to get a good workout, and just understanding it, yeah? You just make sure you understand it, you're not all getting sucked into the ball, because they go one side and they try and drag it out the other side quickly. Well done, George, yeah, you ain't done much in pre-season. Yeah, you must be fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but good. It's just, I know it's tough, mate, and you ain't done much. It's just reacting to when that ball's in the air. Can you get on his touch? Yeah, because to be fair, he ain't really done anything against you. As soon as you get him up, back to, back to the goal, yeah, he's done for the ball. As soon as you let him turn and face you, he'll shift it and get across him. But Bowen, no, that's it. Yeah, well done. Yeah, we keep going. Just a little bit better quality on the ball, innit? Yeah. Good, keep encouraging each other, talking each other, solving a few problems out, that's what it's about. Yeah, we're in a good place, well done. Well, yeah. Stick together, boys, stick together. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like 5.1, put it out on the shoulder. Oh, that's got to be better. Dixie forced back to Jackson, now Waters, pressurised. Holds on to it. Does really well to release Brennan. And he's on side here, Shea Brennan, and he has equalised for Farnham Town. Well, a very similar finish to the one that Murphy provided to give Dorking the lead. Ah, not on that right foot. <laughs> you two ready? <laughs> yeah. No finish up. Hey, finish, mate. Did you get inspiration from their goal or something? Uh, yeah, sort of, yeah. That goal must be bigger. Both love the keeper. Yeah, it's decent. Great ball for Marky, to be fair. Just like on the Astro when it's dry, those clip balls over the top just like, just hold up. On like a wet grass pitch, it might have shot forward, but it just holds up. Keeper comes out. Decent. Someone's got to run forward! Go on, Kingsy. Double step over. Ah. Right, get back. You've had your chance. Get back. Get back there. All <laughs> 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 right, mate. Someone. Oh. That was the one. That's the one. That's the one, isn't it? It's just a, it's an easy set. But he's got all that space. Just, he, <laughs> said that, didn't he? 
Right? Just said it. Yeah. Just said it. We said they'd nick one right at the end. Don't deserve to lose this. No. It's deserve to take out that. I know it's friendly, but yeah. Saying then, Marky, get saying, Marky. Come on, boys. Uh, well done. Come on. Cheers, mate. All the best, mate. All the best, mate. Top down. Cheers, boys. All the best, yeah. All the best, mate. All the best. Great, great effort. Good performance. Real good performance. Take loads of positives from that f***ing real arse football. It's a f***ing cool game. Yeah, that should never have happened. Yeah, never. Mate, if anything, it should have been us that should have nicked it. Second half, deserved it. Even first half, the way you stuck in there with their movement. All right, we're in a real good place. Go again Tuesday. Yeah, we put in a good shift. More minutes for everyone. And then Thursday, little bit, we give those set pieces. Then we're ready to kick on, yeah? Take a lot of credit today. Well done. Great afternoon here at Meadowbank Farnham, just falling short, as you can see, 2-1 uh, to the hosts. Uh, but as a neutral watching that game, you wouldn't have thought there was necessarily uh, two divisions between the sides. Uh, Farnham, you know, more than um, acquitted themselves equally in that game. Um, fell behind, bit of an error from Ryan, but, you know, those happen once in a blue moon for him. And then Shea with an excellent goal early in the second half. And from then on, Farnham really sort of kicked on and started to look really good. Um, and then a really, really late goal, last minute of the game on the counter from, from Dawkins to give them the win. But a really excellent run out from the guys. Um, you know, really good workout, you know, put to the test by a team that you know, trained three times a week and have played step one, uh, most of them have played step one. Um, but yeah, I think everyone's really happy with that performance. A lot of learnings to be had and you know, everyone is buzzing for the new season. Only a week away now, this time next week, we'll have played in the FA Cup and the season will be off and, off and running. So yeah, only one more game to go. Tuesday night at home against Bratnell Town. Let's see how we get on. To the Memorial Ground, we are here against Bratnell Town. We are launching the kit. The kit is on sale. Both the home and away shirts are on sale in the club shop. We're wearing the away shirt tonight. It came out today. You've obviously seen it. Um, so yeah. Let's get into this Bratnell game. Tough test, step free opposition. This is what we are calling the pre-season finale. We are in competitive action on Saturday. FA Cup, let's get to it. My back. Where I've, where, no, where I've put the sun cream on, yeah, and you can only reach like, <laughs> so, oh, in the middle of my it's back, mild. it's just bright red. Mate, I'll show that, you now. My tan lines are a joke. It's so cool. right, everywhere. Man. No, everywhere. That's not job, isn't it? Continents on your yeah, body, mate. It's bad. Well, watch, That's bad. Mate. Well, watch, mate. Oh my god, what's Ming going on? It, it's a job. Oh, it's nice, mate. It's nice. Yeah. Big fan of the colour. I'm not sure what colour it is. It's like a turquoise. I think we sat on. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Did you see the uh, chap on Twitter who said we'll riot if uh, Harry yeah. tucks in? Yeah, why? Yeah. I'll be tucking. Good. Make him riot. It looks wonderful. Mate. That's why Shay bought those. Isn't it? Makes it all worth it. All those painful blisters in pre-season. The away boots. The away boots. Yeah. Yeah. Need to try and find some maroon ones, but we'll see. You're going to be looking like a body of water. Uh, yeah, well, I've been described as worse, so I'll take it, a body of water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll take that one, but we'll go with it. Hopefully you don't get too blue. No, don't need to dab a dee, dab a die. Wow, wow. Leave the jokes to me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you like new kit? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice do you like it? Yeah, I do. Sorry, I might, didn't. I mean, I wanted you for the... No, I know, yeah. I, I can see why. Well. I know, yeah. I can see why. Pick the three that you picked. There's a few question marks to ask in the dressing room. Yeah. After the sales, didn't they? They've struggled a lot. They're down. Yeah. Yeah. The models oh, it makes are terrible. Sense. Yeah, it, it makes sense. The models. Yeah. 
players sell it, don't they? Really, it's not the kit. So the fans were calling for us to. They really were. At half time, we'll do a little like what right. the trailer should have been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or should we like walk around the down the set? set for the <laughs> 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 we won't come on. We'll kits, get the kits. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Looks good on Liam, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Very smart. Very smart. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to get going on Saturday. So uh, yeah, um, one tonight. Just got to be careful. Just told the boys, got to be careful tonight. You know, go and get what you need out of it, and then we we move on, uh, ready to go. Yeah, another good test for us today. It's been uh, it's been a really good pre-season. You know, barring maybe uh, the second half of uh, of Cobham, we've been super impressed with the boys so far, and it'd be another good test for us today. Um, really worked hard against Dawkins at the weekend. Um, really impressed. We, we we matched them all the way through with our work, our work rate. We look fit. Um, yeah, we look ready. And tonight, I think they brought a big squad. We're only still 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 a small squad. So yeah, we uh, looking forward to tonight. Last game pre-season. Thank God. How have you found it? Uh, yeah, it's been good actually. Short and sharp. Um, but glad the proper stuff's starting now. I'm feeling good in myself. Um, ready to go. I think Saturday was excellent. Hard work, but I think the stats show that from a running perspective. So I think hopefully a good 45 tonight. I think we're going to change a lot of it at half time. Um, two good 45s, uh, a sort of shape set piece session Thursday, and we should be ready to go. Uh, tiny little bit of final capping off of testing on Thursday, mate, and we are done. Yeah, now we peaked well on Saturday against Dorking. Stats were exactly where we wanted them, running, volumes, everything was perfect. Um, Today might be a little bit sub, but that's fine. And then, yeah, we go go on Saturday, yeah. Boys have been excellent. Um, happy with where we're at. You know, mate, we might be one or two short uh, to top up, but yeah, we're, we're in a good place and uh, yeah, can't wait to get going. And the away kit launched. Loved as it. Well. Yeah, oh, mate, the, the, I must admit, it's. Uh, I do get excited with kits, but that's a real real nice one. Real, the club have done really well. The colours, uh, colour, colour looks awesome. So, uh, be nice to see it on the boys tonight. They're closest. Like closest. Jono, just count no, five of us, yeah. whoever goes the closest. Right, I'll set it, I'll set it. Oh! Oh! That's close. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. It's close, Jim. Fiver. I'm going to do it on the drop goal on my foot. That's the last one, ain't it? What, no? You had it here? We can cross by keeps. Got you set the way. We're getting closer. Left. Bottom left. Marrow in. No shot. No. Rubbish. Don't even hit the target. Don't even say, oh, that's no one near. Watch this then. Didn't even look. Not even counted. Didn't even look. I don't even look, Jim. <laughs> I'm going scissors on pens today. Yeah, I'm going Just saying that. You going what? I'm going paper. Oh, yeah. Straight on. Yeah. Have they done it again? Your head? No, no, no. No, no, don't even get your head. I want to change it because I'm on this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go paper. I know it's a big day for you today, yeah, so true, I won't change. I'll go. It's for me a lot. I'll go paper. But it's your old club. Sorry? Score against your old club. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really probably, count. Probably, probably pen, probably retire in my school to be honest. Yeah. Not even they all count, man. Pens didn't, didn't, well, yeah. pens didn't count, I would have yeah, scored sorry. one goal off it. Hey, two sex then, yeah. Like I said, be, be sensible, but make sure you get, get uh, good habits out of it. Two, three touches as much as we can. Set pieces, I'll leave it down to you. Yeah, we work on them on Thursday. Uh, Finn just stays up, rest going back, pick up, pick up post. Cooksy does hold. Yeah. yeah. Lewis, enjoy the ball. Right. 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 Hello and welcome along to this coverage of Farnham Town's final pre-season friendly. This one is at home to Bracknell Town. Kinane. That one's cut out, but Cooksley. Uh, has played it into a difficult area and Kinane's beaten to it. And it's another chance. And this time Bracknell do take the lead.
Jules, as soon as we get it, you're just wired all the time. Just automatically do it, yeah? Give yourself as much space as you can out here. It's a pen, isn't it? Huh? He's landed like in the box. He ain't like jump forward, does he? He's taking him from the side. Hey, right, come on. No one's falling in. Couldn't do much more, really, is it? Apart from the ball rolling in. No one's followed it in, though. Kinane goes up and it's hooked onwards. And is it going to be bundled in here? Yes, it is. Farnham Town back on level terms. You got any more? Oh, yeah. they're, they're in my bag. They're in my bag. Hey, take time, take time, take time. No, no, we're not having a drink. No, no, no. Come on. You want to take a point now? Roy, Roy, oh, Kai, go in at right back. Push Jacko in from here. Flat, you sitting with Coop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way, the way, the way they got their three up top. Yeah, they're not playing in the pockets. They're like pinning our full backs and two can't come out. Yeah, but you just got to talk to Ryan. Yeah, you talk to Ryan. Chill. You got to talk. Yeah, because they're pinning your back. The wide boys. You just got to shift and go. Yeah, shift and go. See it coming. Shift and go. Tell Ryan he's just coming. And they got him without quicker. Out the back, look at Ryan out the back, he's on his own. Cross the ball. Oh. Tight, 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 tight. Good lad. That'll do. That'll do. Snap, snap away. Good lad. Yeah, great ball. Positive. Be positive. Be nice and positive. Good lad. Oh! Hey, Finn! Finn! Hey, well done! Good! Deserved the goal, that, didn't it? Huh? Stay out. Yeah. Huh? We're staying Flay! Get what you need, do we stay out? Yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. Was that not in the box, that far? Oh, Mate, it was miles in. Was miles his studs in. was out, but his hip caught me and his hip was miles in. It just fell back down on the floor. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll say not, not a great deal. Well done. Yeah, it took, took 10 minutes to like settle down. Yeah, one, once you settled down, then, then you're by far the, the better side. Yeah, all they were relying on was just a bullying up top. Yeah, it's so a massive credit. I think we should have had a couple more. Yeah, a couple of great balls in the box. I uh, just need tapping in. Yeah, but... Um, well done, adjusted well. Yeah, just make sure you pick up. I thought you passed it um, after about 20 minutes. You passed it well into the tens. Yeah, I think the first 10, 15, you missed an opportunity of just turning them. Yeah, where it might just give you a, a foothold in the game a little bit quicker. So it's just picking up. Yeah, just put it in, turn them, get, your, get a foothold of the game. Yeah, play in their final third, and then we dictate the game like we did for the last 20, 25 minutes. But uh, all unscathed. Yeah, a couple of boys staying on. Well done, excellent pre season. Yeah. We train Thursday, ready for Saturday. Saturday. Well, well done, done man. boys. Boys, yeah. boys, boys yeah. going off, going over stretch. Just done. Well done. Where are you? Well, 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 well,
He nicked that off JJ. Oh, he gave it, it to yeah? me. He knew where to give it. <laughs> Giving the captain armband away. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not. It's like when people take penalties when it's not them on penalties. It's just no, so he's not allowed to do interviews without coffee. He just needs the cappuccino to finish it off. He can't stay away from the camera. Look at him. Every time it's over, he has to come out. Hate to say his socks are probably a bit. Well, they'll be punished straight away. The shot has found the back of the net. Well, Farnham should really have been ahead moments ago. Don't need to foul. Don't need to foul. Good. Ah. Good boy, Joe. He said again. Ah! Oh. <coughs> oh. Flatman, and that was a real opportunity for Owen Dean. I don't know how he didn't make any contacts. No one. Oh. And that is short from Meaton. And Brzozowski stays in his goal and Farnham are punished for another individual error and against the run of play. Oh. And the effort has found the back of the net, and it is 4 1. Kozowski didn't move, stood absolutely no chance, beautifully struck. Oh. Farnham were level at the break but conceded three in the second half when they could have had three of their own. Final score here, Farnham Town 1, Bracknell Town 4. We need to get that goal measured. It's definitely smaller. Oh mate, it's I definitely know. Smaller. Fuming. Fuming. Couldn't quite get it in tonight but save him Saturday. There we go. Wait, that's a wrap then. Yeah, Thursday we train. Difficult one tonight. Saturday was hard to take, you know, for where they're at. But... This one was this one was difficult because we had a better side, but we got punished. I think they had five opportunities. Yeah, five opportunities. We give them four. We give them all four goals. Yeah, and we had a ch good chance ourselves. We should have come away with at least seven tonight. Yeah, so we just got a touch up. Yeah, best in both boxes. But overall, performance-wise, really good. Just little moments, um, a lot of changes, but that happens. Yeah, we get ready Thursday. Yeah, and we start coming out the traps on Saturday. Yeah, and we kick on. Well done. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Second half come with me. Pre-season is over. It's dragged on a little bit, but it's finally done. Not the result we wanted tonight, but Saturday is when it starts. We're away at Tunbridge Wells. I know there's a, a traveling coach of away fans going. So if you're thinking about it, get down there. It'll be a good day. Season starts on Saturday. The town hopefully progress in the FA Cup. See you there.